Fiery Jobflow Base automates job preparation steps in prepress workflows to produce ready to print files. This easy to use print workflow automation software increases productivity and reduces costs. Create workflows for your most common jobs, reduce clicks, reduce the potential for human error in job setup, all with Fiery Jobflow Base. Fiery Jobflow Base is a centrally managed hot folder automation utility which is managed by an intranet web page. File submission can be done by the Smart Folders folder that is shared by Jobflow to the network, SMB folders, FTP folders, and Dropbox. Leveraging familiar Fiery tools such as Fiery Preflight, Image Enhance, and Impose, you can build automated workflows for your Fiery controller. Pre-built workflows can be downloaded from EFI.com and easily imported into Fiery Jobflow Base. If you go under the Admin setting and go to the Fiery Jobflow Library, you can see the Fiery Jobflow Library. Workflows are marked whether they'll work with Jobflow Base or Full Jobflow or both. Let's download a workflow to import into our Jobflow Then, once the workflow is downloaded, we can go back into Jobflow, click the Import button, select the workflow that I downloaded from EFI.com. It will give a description of what the workflow does, and you can click Continue to import the workflow. Click OK, and you can see the new workflow is imported into Jobflow Base. The Fiery Jobflow JFB Ticket Workflow allows you to submit multiple files to the Fiery Controller, merge together or individually. You can set the quantity and with Fiery Jobflow 2.9 you can define a Fiery Server preset to be assigned to the job. This eliminates the need to open and apply properties for each file individually, streamlining multi-job file submission. It also allows for automation in sending files to the Fiery server from many third-party applications. So if I take my job flow ticket and drop it into the job flow workflow, it will go out and actually pull those jobs with the quantity that was defined in the job ticket, pull those jobs from a network directory and submit them to the Fiery controller using a Fiery server preset individual to each job that was submitted. If we look in Fiery Command Workstation, you can see that one of the jobs that was submitted by Jobflow had no workflow defined, the next one had a duplex workflow, and the next one had a simplex workflow that corresponded with what was in the Fiery job ticket. Another popular feature of Fiery Jobflow Base is the ability to convert files to PDF. Let's take a JPEG image, drop it into the Fiery Jobflow Base workflow, and the file will process through the conversion module, then get sent to the Fiery controller using a Fiery server preset to define the page size. When we look at Fiery Command Workstation, we can see the job has been received. It has been converted to a PDF file. It is on 8.5 by 11 media, and it has the Fiery server preset of JF image assigned to it and is ready to print. And finally, let's make a new workflow in Fiery Jobflow Base. If you click the plus button in the upper right hand corner, you will get the ability to add a workflow name. I'm going to name my workflow My Workflow. I'll click Create to create the workflow. Then I will click the plus button after Convert to add modules that I want to build my workflow from. So first I want to pre-flight my jobs incoming into this workflow. So I am going to add a fiery pre-flight that is going to check spot colors, click Add. Then I'm going to want to receive emails if my Fiery Preflight fails in the workflow. To do that, I click on Manage Rules. I click Add. Then I select if pre Fiery Preflight fails to send an email. 
and I am the admin user or you could add an additional email user if you wanted to to the job flow system click Save and then you can see now it will email if the pre-flight fails Next, I'm going to add an Image Enhance module because I want to sharpen the images on all the incoming files going through this particular workflow. So I select Sharpen Images, click Add. Then I want to impose the work that's going to be coming through this workflow. So I click Impose. I select a Impose template, click Add, and finally I want to apply a preset on my Fiery server so that all my finishing settings, media settings are preset for this job. So I go to my Fiery server, I select a server preset that is pre-built for this workflow. And for Fiery servers running FS400 or above, I can apply Fiery Job Expert. You can set Job Expert to all categories to automatically set the optimal job properties for image quality, color management, and VDP. Or in my example, I just want to maximize image quality and let Fiery Job Expert specifically set those properties for the job when it is received on the Fiery server. Then I click Save, and now my workflow is built. Now I will drop a file into the workflow we just built. I'll drop my file into my workflow, and if we go to the Jobs tab, we can see the jobs processing in Fiery Job Flow when the job has been processed. Since we have a pre-flight in the workflow, I can click on the report in the Jobs Completed queue and see my fiery pre-flight report. I can see that all my Pantone colors had no errors, so the job went through without any warnings or an error. Next, if I launch Fiery Command Workstation, I can see my job has been received on the Fiery Controller. I can see that the job has been imposed. I can see that job expert has been applied. I can see the spot colors that have been checked by the Fiery Preflight, and I can see the workflow that's been applied. And if I go to Fiery Preview, I can see my job and that the job is ready to print. For more information, visit efi.com forward slash jobflow.